welcome, welcome, welcome to Sisters United. After these messages, we'll be right back. Don't y'all hate when somebody be like, how's your little business going? Like, uh-uh. Big energy. Big business. Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's me, JD, Ladies Man K. We're having a show for educated black men or educated black men. Y'all make sure y'all tune in on Saturday nights at 7 o'clock. See y'all there. Join Pastor Jackson and friends as we write the vibe. The word of truth. You can find my gospel soul on Facebook, Twitter, but you can also find me, Janice Jackson, on Facebook and Twitter as well. Now, to keep up with us, also on the Janice Jackson Ministries website. That's at www.janicejacksonministries.yolasite.com. So remember with God, all things are possible. Holding on, you better believe I'm holding on, you better believe I'm holding on, you better believe I'm show for you tonight. I am very, very excited about about All right. I'm very excited about our guest tonight. And um, we have two guests coming on tonight. So uh, <laughs> until then, Let's talk about uh, some things that's coming up with Sisters United. We are going to be shooting from the uh, Wacky Crack Shop on uh, Cullen. We also got some uh, live shows that we're going to be doing, uh, uh, adding a studio audience. I don't know why I'm so uh, tongue-tied tonight, but anyway. So um, this show tonight is very near and dear to me. I'm looking to hear some good information. I'm excited about the movie Love Shouldn't Hurt. Oh, that's the truth. There's so much in that title. So I can't wait to tell. We're going to be talking to the director, uh, Cheryl Latham, tonight. And uh, Jerome Covington, Jay Speaks, is going to be in the house tonight. So I want you to make sure you share this show. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on, on um, Twitter. So if you want to go there and check that out, please do, please do. Sisters United is a show about uniting women for the purpose to empower, to inspire, and to encourage. So I hope so that you get something out of the show that uh, uh, good information like tonight we will be talking. Hopefully we'll be talking about domestic violence. We'll be talking about speak out, okay? Speak out, I've been following. They don't know, but I've been following on Instagram or Facebook. You know, keeping up with Jay Speaks is just another, <laughs> just another adventure. So I'm very excited about having him on the show tonight. Um, 
last week's show was very, very good. We had uh, we had uh, Lynette Hale. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, I'm so tired. We had uh, Lynette Hill, uh, Hale, and she, let me tell y'all, she gave out so much information. I'm still on overload from uh, that show. If you did not catch that show, I need you to backtrack, go on the Sisters United page or in the group and check it out. Please listen. Please be encouraged. She talked about being successful. and She talked about how she started off by herself. Okay. One woman uh, situation. Look, her house was her was the storehouse and and uh it just really encourages you to uh to stay um faithful to stay committed regardless of how many people you have on your team regardless of how many people turn their back on you regardless of a uh, support system from other people you have to be your own support system you have to believe in the vision yourself and make sure that you Keep pushing because who did God give the vision to? He gave it to you. So you got to make sure that you be faithful to what God has given you. It's been many times uh, in in my life with the things that God has called me to do where I wanted to just, hey, <laughs> just get out of the way, go to sleep somewhere and not be bothered. You know, dealing with different people that that leave you, different people that reject you, different, you know, situations, you know, that don't work out. You think for your good and you want to throw in the towel. Oh, been there, done that. Been there, done that. You know, family, you want family to show up, family don't show up. That's not a negative thing. That's just God saying, I want to do this. I want the glory. And you have to just get in a place where you hold on to him. You hold on uh, to his promises. You hold on to the vision that he's giving you. Write the vision, make it plain. And uh, <laughs> Amen. You know, though it, it may not happen quick, it's going to happen. And you always have to have faith that whatever God gives you to do, it's going to happen. OK, it's going to happen. I remember I started Heal the Land Crusades. God knew I was going to be a uh, pastor in the church, you know, but I started Heal the Land Crusades way back in uh, 2004. <laughs> in 2004, I'm trying to tell you, my God. And on a slab of concrete, me and my mother had a karaoke machine and a and a <laughs> you know uh, uh and a couple of chairs, and we kept preaching. And today, you gotta think about how many years that is from now. Today, you know, I have my own building, my own church, but it was many times, y'all. <laughs> I didn't look where it didn't look like it was gonna work out, but God. So. I want you to stay encouraged. And the things that you hear on Sisters United, I want you to take those things. If you can't use them right now, put them, you know, look, put them on the shelf. Put them in your pocketbook like my grandma used to say. Put it in your pocketbook because you're going to need it one day. You're going to need that extra push. You're going to need that extra word of encouragement uh, to, to birth that vision out, you know. And like I say, it ain't easy all the time. <laughs> you want to say, God, did you really choose me to do this? But yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. So hold on. So we got our guests. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got both. Hey, man. All right. My guest to drink. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. I'm excited. We got a lot to talk about. What's up, Jay? What up? What up? How y'all oh doing? Doing fine. You know, I always got to find a way to get you on this show, Jay. <laughs> you know I do. You know I do. Now, I really know. <laughs> so, uh, before we before we just get into all this goodness, uh, we have Cheryl Lathan, the director for uh, Love Shouldn't Hurt. It really should. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> it really shouldn't. It's <laughs> for real. Really uh, talk to us a little bit. Uh, introduce yourself because they know Jay speaks. I got him on everything. We go. <laughs> I got him on everything. You so, have him uh, on everything. Yeah. I try to get him on everything. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Cheryl. I'm Cheryl Latham. I'm the um, 
director, writer, producer for Love Shit and Hurt. I'm also the executive um, director and the CEO for Speak Out Now. It's a domestic violence uh, awareness organization. And so um, the, the movie is basically from a play that was put together. And the play was supposed to be in a three-part play. So we just, um, I, what I just basically did was put everything together into a movie. And so oh. that's how it came out. Okay, so it started off in a play. Here yes, he's starting a play. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how long did you before the the movie came about? How long did you work with the play before it transitioned into the movie? Um, the play we started in uh, June of 2018, and so it was been like I would say three four years in the making. Um, one day I told um, I said I'm going to do a movie, and I we, we I want to do like a short film. And it uh -huh. actually being a big, large future feature film. It's uh, like a smaller version, it's like 45 minutes. And so 45 minutes to, yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. So this one is two and a half hours. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw I saw the preview on my on my Instagram and then on my Facebook. And I was like, oh my goodness, this yeah, is gonna be yeah. good. First yeah. of all, I for Jay Speaks to play that part, I was like, I was like, no, not my, I don't have a brother, but you know, it's boy. <laughs> so, so Jay Speaks, is this, is this a part that you've been playing? Uh, you were playing when, this in the play? When, when the play originally started, no, I was, I was actually in the role of the abused husband. Okay. Right. And then, and then it switched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so you did both sides of the of the coin. I like that. Absolutely. Because like yeah. I've seen some men being beat up. I've seen it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. And it then is, they yeah. justify it. They just they were like, oh, oh, he I can they slap men, men all in the face and come on. I was like, yeah. come on. And yeah. then what's yeah. even and then what's even worse against those men is the is the hateful words that woman uh uh says to that man. Uh, and those are unseen injuries. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But they're injuries, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. So, on your journey to uh uh to putting this to putting the movie together, uh, because I love to talk to black women and hear their journey to it, because a lot of people see the finished product, but they don't know the journey, you know. Mm -hmm. They think it's just gonna happen. Oh, I just oh, we're gonna do a movie and the next day it's on. No, uh -uh. <laughs> no, the journey was hard. <laughs> the journey was challenging. I'll say challenging. The journey was very challenging because you have to have the right people, you know, in the right spots in the right position. Um, even though you think that someone fits that area, you have to always tweak it and say, Well, let me try someone else. And it's usually someone that's, that's within the play or either within your production that fits that spot. Um, so um, the journey was very challenging. And also um, trusting the ones that, that are around you when it comes to business, managing business deals and what have you. Um, some things didn't work out the way we had expected, but yeah. God is good. And yeah. so it's done. So because there were some obstacles, you know. Um, there were some major obstacles that had transpired, but through all that, uh, when I noticed that there was some trans, there were some obstacles. I was just, I prayed, and I just said, it was like, just don't touch it right now. Just hold on for a minute. So once I did that, and I said, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do next? Because everyone is asking about this uh, production, so uh, I, I feel that it needs to go out. Anytime you are dealing with a major topic like abuse, violence, and you're talking about um, uh, 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 of, um, of, of, of um, manipulation and coercion and and um, and control. You're going to always have a setback somewhere because he doesn't want that message to come out. That's what I found out. He was trying to block the message because. I mean, I was like, because when I saw it, I said, oh, my God, this is going to be really compelling for a lot of people. 
to actually see the things that's taking place. I mean, you could someone could tell this story, but when you actually see it vividly and see all the dynamics of it, it is it is it's, it's really crazy. Um, during the filming of it, um, a lot of us got emotional and we had to take several breaks. I mean, yeah. a lot of people broke down in tears, you know, and then some people were able to laugh through some of the, the funny parts, you know, but it was very touching because if your production crew was breaking down, I wonder how it's going to be on the 28th when everyone comes to the matchbox and see it. Yeah, because yeah. when I saw the, when I saw the preview, I was like, mm -hmm. I think it was more like it, it was it was it was real. It wasn't you. You could tell it wasn't uh, right. mm -hmm. you know, oh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just write this right. up. You know, or it was a script. It was, it was just the preview is 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 moving because i was like man you know even because you think about the verbal abuse right. and you think about how we have accepted it for a long time men and women you know mm -hmm. and we think that you, you know we are christians with and mm -hmm. we think love covers everything and right. all this kind of stuff and right. and so it's a lot of, of uh people that are in abusive relationships but think mm -hmm. it's just the way a relationship is Right. So right. I'm excited. And, about not, and, and it's not, we were not, we were not, I, I know without a shadow of doubt that God did not design us to be abused or mishandled or mistreated or uh, talked down to. Uh, I know sometimes as human, we have a tendency of, you know, flipping off at the mouth and then we don't apologize after we do the flipping. We just flip and walk away. So we have to learn how to go back and say, I'm sorry, because Hello. you just left someone hurt and damaged. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And those were people say like sticks and stones will big one, but words will never harm you. That's a lie. Words That's will lie. harm you. Because the words stay up here. Yes, and they, they marinate. Do. And you start saying, Am I am, am I really ugly? Am I really bad? <laughs> yeah. Am I really this way? You know, it oh does. God. It sticks up it here. Does. So, it does. Yeah. So yeah. Jay, yeah. when you were playing that part, when you were playing that part, you know I gotta I gotta get in here because I know you and it just that's a whole nother Yeah, she had to that that was that was a struggle, man. She had to she had to pull that out of me. Like yeah. literally. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was a hard role. That was a hard role for me to get into. Mm. Because a lot of the people, a lot of the characters, because this was some of them was new. And I just want to say this, like some, I'm not going to say what part of the story, I would say 45 to 55% of the story is my story. Okay. Is my personal story. So my personal story is, uh, is in different areas of the whole thing. And so, and what we, what I did was I was able to um, interview other people who were going through abuse as well. And so with that being said, I took some of their stories and put those in the storylines as well. And I, I am a believer. I am an ordained minister. And uh, this is something I had to do. So forgive me, saints, if you're watching. I had to take some uh, communion <laughs> to write the story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I locked my room. I locked myself in my bedroom. And I took the whole weekend, I took a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and wrote the whole thing out, you know, that whole weekend. And I said, if Tyler Perry could do it in a day or two, I know, God, you can help me in, in a weekend to get it done. Support. Yeah. And so oh, yeah. it was done. And, you know, we I prayed over it. And I said, here's the script. Here's the screen, you know, the screenplay. And so let's knock it out. Yeah. Yeah. So and then you know, being your first time, I was getting frustrated because I was like, oh my God, what's taking so long? Because like one day was like almost eight, ten hours just to shoot. And I said, I'm ready to go. And they said, no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I can't take it no more, ready to go. Oh my God, I'm hungry. I was hungry. And so they said, let's get us something to eat, you know, like the Snickers, you know, the angry, you get yeah, them a Snickers, you back to normal. That's me. It's like, give me some food. I need something to eat, you know. So, but it was fun um, in, in pulling things. And this is my first time directing. And but I knew what I saw. A director is a visionary, so I yeah. I saw things. And I'm like, I would say, no, go back and do it again. But this is what I want to hear. 
This is what I want to see. And and yeah. no, no, no. Say it like this. I said, stop yeah. being country. Come on, yeah. let's do it this way. Come on, you know. So, <laughs> you know, and like for Jay Speaks, I was like, no, you're not angry enough. But see, when right. Jay Speaks was starting to do it, he was yelling all the time. I said, what is going yeah. on? You angry man? Stop. And so I said, anger is not always yelling. Right. Yeah. Anger could be settled, but it's the way yeah. you do it. You know what I'm saying? And so I was telling, so so Jay got the hang of it. And I said, okay, this is how it's, because a lot of times people are not yelling at you when they're angry. It's the, it's the pulling of the clothes, the poking in the face, looking yeah. you hard and staring in the face. That's a part of anger, those yeah. nonverbals. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. And them, not, them nonverbals will eat you up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, that'll eat you up. You know how when you're in church and whatever, or you at the store with your parents, they give you that nonverbal look. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, you know yeah. when you come home, it's going down. It's going down. Remember, remember them days. So so I needed something like that, you know, give me that nonverbal look at your wife, you know, kind of thing. But I think that this is going to be an exciting night on the 28th. I think that everyone is going to leave. Uh, feeling a different way because our whole goal is to bring awareness to what we're talking about people bring it up when somebody famous or someone else they know is going through it and then they let it die down you know what i'm saying but we want all media outlets you know radio television wherever to really pick up the ball and just join us and make these change and then also with counselors we can't sometimes people the way they are because of what they've seen in their family, you know, but it has to stop because I'm tired of hearing about people dying over, you know, because I didn't cook my food, the food wasn't cooked right, or you wore the wrong clothes, or why were you talking to her, or why were you giving her compliments, you know, the jealousy, all that just has to stop, yeah. It has to stop. You know, I thought about when I was watching uh, the uh, preview, I was I thought about a time when I was younger and married Mm -hmm. and how he used to, he used to trap me in rooms. He didn't put his hands on me, but he'll trap me in the room and then he'll Mm -hmm. get the talking down to me. And, and by the end of it, now I'm praying right through the whole thing, but by the end of it, like you said, you're dealing with the residue of what was said. Like you come out, oh, you know, we do that strong black woman. I'm still standing, but we don't deal with what's left, the residue that's left. So Mm -hmm. a lot of us may not still be in a relationship, that type of relationship, but we still got that baggage and that brokenness Mm -hmm. going on. I think a lot of healing is going to take place with this. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's going to take place. it'll, It'll be surprising. It'll be interesting if he turns the 28th into a deliverance service. Yes. That's all I got to say. Yes. (laughs) Man. Man. Oh, my God. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, my God. Because we got to we got to get we got to get this topic out of the out of the shadow of, of, uh, you know, desensitized being desensitized. We're desensitized to this. Yeah, we we glaze over it, you know. We see it so much in the news. It's like, oh, another, another, another domestic violence, another murder, another this, another that. Like, when when are we gonna take this stuff seriously? You know? Yeah, yeah. They normalize normalizing it, and yeah, it's not normal. Like for real. <laughs> Yeah. And then another thing too with when people come out of that, right. making sure that they get in counsel, making sure because people get out of it, they get a new house, a new life, then they right. get a new man, and that's the testimony. Mm-hmm. But that's you, you know, like I say, deliverance have to take place. Not right. you you can you can I used to preach a sermon that says um uh, you can uh, take the girl out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the girl. Right. But it's the same thing when you get out of uh, dysfunction, when you get when you get saved. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's a process in, in deliverance. So right. when you come out of a, a abusive relationship. My husband says it all the time: if a, if a man hits a woman every morning, then one morning he wake up and stop hitting her. He gonna ask, she gonna ask him what's wrong with him. You know, <laughs> that's because it's a right. mixed that's thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, so, yeah, it, 
That's crazy. <laughs> That's yeah, but I mean, crazy. it's a lot of it's a it's like you said they were if a person was raised in a household where the mm-hmm. where the father beat the mama, mm-hmm. and, and the mama he say I love you, bring you flowers, and she stay, you know. Mm-hmm. That son is raising it, the daughter is raising it. That's two right. people mm-hmm. that have been affected by this. So right. now they go out, they mm-hmm. go out their separate ways. She may not be a verbally abusive person, but she's gonna mm-hmm. take abuse. Right. You know, right. And, and the same thing, he he may take abuse or give abuse, you know. Right. But we don't we don't look at that, you know. Right. We don't look at that. But you know what? I, I we went we have something called Purple Sundays where we go to different churches and we set up a table and then we give out information about you know domestic abuse and then uh and then the the leader, uh, the pastor, whomever would give us a minute or two to talk about you know the organization. Well, uh, after the service, we went to. The, I'm not going to say the name of the church, but after the service, um, I, I was talking to one of the ladies. She said, well, you know, I really. Thank you for saying what you did. And I said, oh, okay. I said, well, what's going on? She said, well, you know, I was an abusive. She said, I'm a twin. This is interesting. She's a twin. She said that she's a twin and, and her brother, that she has a brother that's a twin, her twin. They both were married to abusive people. Wow. They both were married to abusive people. And I said, did you stay? She said, I stay for my children. But when I got enough, I had to take my kids out of it. And I said, did your brother stay? No, he left. I said, now, when you remarry, did you remarry? She said, yes. I said, how is it now? She said, I'm so much at peace. And I said, and my brother, he remarried, and he's good now, too. So I found that very interesting. As twins, you end up attaching yourself to the same people. Hmm. And that's one thing that we have to look out for those signs, uh, because People wear, we wear masks. A lot of us wear yeah. masks to hook you to come into the web. Okay. Yeah. So once yeah. I get you into the web, now I got you. So now I'm going to massage you. I'm going to dine you. I'm going to wine yeah. and dine you. Yeah. Buy you, you know, all that. But see, he, he prays. He prays. Not yes, he pray, does. but he prays on those who are weak and who have low self esteem. Yeah, you know, and so that's what happens. And so you go to those people and you try to boost their ego, and say, you know, I'm the one for you. No one loves you. I am because all these things I've done for you. And then, and then you caught in the web, and it's like now I'm trying to get out. So now yeah. the mask comes down, mm. and it's like, why the food ain't cooked right? Why this ain't done? This is not done. Da da da. And like, oh my God, where this come from? You know? Yeah. 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 Oh my god! I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh lord, because it's familiar. It's familiar for me. You know, I was yeah. I was reading on this show because, mm-hmm. uh, like I say, a lot of and a lot of times when we date, we tell that person mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, I went through this. Oh, I don't feel good about this. And oh, I'm you know we give them, <laughs> you so, know. So- so, so, so we shouldn't say what we've gone through when we're dating, or should we just keep it quiet? I'm just asking. You, you gotta, you gotta get to know a person first. Yeah. You know, you really gotta because a lot, like you said, this person is manipulative. They got, like my husband say, the representative is on the, you know, is a representative, and mm-hmm. and let me just a testimony. You know, I did that. I told him a whole lot of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and then when the representative, you know, when he got rid of his representative, now all of a sudden, yeah, I ain't your dad. I, I don't do what your daddy did. You know, it became mm-hmm. this type of, you right. know, and I was like, and I, like you say, until that mask comes off, or right. until that, that that brain fog leaves, right. Right. you know, I, you're going to get beat down, you know, right. until you realize, mm-hmm. wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Then you like you say you saw a hearing. Now you can hear what's right. really going on. Right. Right. So yeah. Yeah. I right. think it takes it takes time. You know, people come out of a, a abusive situation or even like childhood, you gotta get to know people. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and not be so much of a rush to be in love. Yeah. You know, you know, try like you say, get to know the person, sit back and learn how to be quiet and just be observant and what the person is doing. 
how they handle certain situations, how they handle themselves, uh, if, they, if they're easy to anger, you know, those type of things, you know, are they condescending? You know, yeah. certain things you have to look for uh, in the person, always want you by their side. I mean, yeah. and, and like, call me when you get home, call me when you wake up, call me uh, for lunch, call me for snack. Call me for the I'm like man, and that was oh like for a bathroom break too. It's like yeah, call me for a bathroom break. I'm like oh, okay, you lost your mind. Yeah. So you, you know, know it's just too much calling going on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh my God, that's that's so crazy. That, that is, that's like, the truth. That's 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 the Lord have mercy. And some women find that flattering for a man, but yes. you don't realize no, no, you don't not. realize that they are consuming all of your time. And in a minute, you, you it's like you can't function when they're not around. You can't because right. they. Oh my God. And then like I called you. Why you didn't answer the phone? On the why you didn't answer the? phone? Yeah, on the first ring. Why did you hear the first ring? Oh, the first ring might be different from my I was ring. in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom. You're supposed to take the phone with you. <laughs> oh, my, or, or this one right here. You on the phone and they say, who is that in the background? What? Right, right. <laughs> right. And you at work. Okay, you at work. At work. So, okay, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. The co-worker, what's his name? It sounds like a man. Well, you know... <laughs> And you know what is so funny? You know, there it's not you that's insecure. They are the insecure ones. Yeah. Exactly. Like, really. And they don't <laughs> they don't know that. They're very insecure. Because yeah. I use when I sit back and see that, I say, do you have separation issues? <laughs> do you have yeah, right. issues? You know, what's going separation on? anxiety, attachment, yeah, like, codependency, you know. all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they pour it all over on the other person. Right. Oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm and, and I'm confident about myself. You the one ain't got yeah. no friends. Exactly. But I don't have yeah. no friends because I, I I'm with you all the time. Right. It's massive. Look, you said you was gonna be my best friend. Right, 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 right. You don't need I'm nobody. I'm your best friend. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, it's had tell, I had to tell I had to tell one of my friends because when she said that her when she got with the guy, he was cool, but then she he started pointing out stuff about me and all this stuff, telling her that I was using her. Now I never asked her for anything, you know. <laughs> and so I told her, I said, "Are you listening to him? Are you listening to what he said? Are you processing it right?" Well, he just, you know, he, you know, he take care of me, you know, and he just said, "Y'all," I said, "What?" I said, "Girl, you better get it together." And the next thing you know, she was calling me. She said, "Girl, I need you to come get me." <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Uh -uh. wow. Oh. You need to you 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 should bring her if you're coming, bring her to the to the movie and she'll see. I don't know where she I don't know where oh. she is. Oh my. Yeah, wow. she to know. I, I pray for her daily. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. because and and hey, y'all know I'm a preacher. I'm gonna just tell you the truth. Until mm -hmm. you get delivered, you will constantly find yourself back in right. that pattern. Yeah. And you don't want to hear no. You don't want to hear your friend reveal to you your right. pattern. Exactly. When a person gets to telling you, "Look, you just got out of this. You're right. doing the same thing." Then you turn, you turn on me. But I don't mind you not being mad at me though. Right. You be mad. Let me tell you, hey, right. something wrong That's with you. That's mm -hmm. not helping. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Let's talk about speak out. Yeah. Oh, speak out. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, she's talking about me. Yes, speak out. <laughs> <laughs> it had got so good we forgot. I forgot about speak out. Well, speak out is 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 a product of the uh, of the movie. I mean, it's an extension. The movie is an extension of speak out itself. So um, uh, we go to different places. Um, and, and we put on plays, you know, uh, and that's bringing awareness and education as well. Uh, if, I mean, if anyone is interested in us bringing the play to their church, to their community centers, um, just hook, you know, just, um, just reach out to us. That's not a problem. Um, the way that we're doing it now is basically um, people could do, uh, we'll come and they just, just do donations towards the play. And then, you know, we just take it from there. Uh, we used to uh, at one time do um, um, fees, like tickets, 
but um, right now because of pandemic and the information needs to get out, we just do it that way. Um, because since the pandemic, we realized that uh, it has tripled or probably more than tripled because of the pandemic. Um, the, the hotlines are hot, um, people calling for help. Um, a lot of the shelters are overwhelmed. They can't get any more people in. And that's something that uh, we need to think about as a group of people is that how can we come together and bring together shelters for women? And then I asked if there were these shelters for men. There's only two shelters in the U.S. for men that go through abuse. And that's really sad because no one believed that men can be abused as well. And that's the really sad, sad part. Yeah. And so, um, but we do Purple Sundays. Um, that's where we go out to different churches on uh, on a Sunday, and we give out information, as I mentioned earlier. And then um, we do um, we have a resource. We have a journal that's coming out this year with resource information in there as well. So the journal will be on Amazon.com, and then we're going to bring that out. Um, what else? Um, we have a podcast. We have a podcast called Speak Out Now Podcast. We have that. What else are we doing, Jerome? Uh, we work in the community with uh, the, mm -hmm. the Workforce Commission. Yeah, yeah, okay. we do that. Yeah, we have a contract with them, helping people find um, jobs, getting them ready for jobs and things like that. And then um, we also do, oh, we do our Ailey School District uh, mm -hmm. in February and October. We go speak to the kids over there about teen dating abuse, uh, which is uh, February is Teen Dating Abuse uh, Awareness Month. So we go there and we talk to the, you know, the teens about that. And it, that first time doing it, it was, it was so awesome. You know, um, we did a little skit, but the person came in uh, like attacking me and pulling me and the kids were like, oh no, ah, ah, ah. And, and just to see their reaction, they were ready to fight. I said, no, 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 it's a play. It's just a skit, calm down y'all, calm down. So we, I had to warn them because I didn't want them to come and beat up the guy, you know, that was with me at the time that was doing it. And so, but we're willing to come <laughs> out to um, even talk to women groups, mm -hmm. and groups, but really to the women to help them heal and do uh, at least some, uh, education and awareness with them as well. And we were asked to go, We I don't know if we find out the details on it, but we were asked to go to the prison too. Yeah, yeah. We, they want to take bring it to the prison. So mm -hmm. if you see us on CNN <laughs> on the lockdown, <laughs> and the ladies say, oh, you know, so it would be like Pastor J reporting. Listen, <laughs> listen, slow it down. <laughs> oh, I don't God. want to get shanked or any of lockdown there, lock down the prison. I'm like, wait, because if Jerome, if Jerome plays a part of beating the woman, and they, they, Man. Oh, my they God. Go. I said, wait a minute, we're not finished yet. We over look, I'm gonna grab you and I'm running. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You gonna, you gonna be on my shoulders. I'm running. I'm gonna you have know, you ever seen Jerome I'm run? Gonna... It's comical. And I don't want to see him run. I'm out of street the Samson. I'm picking up everybody. We running a lot of them. Uh -huh. For real. Oh my god. So yeah. Man. I think I think that's I think that's awesome. Uh going back to the uh the young girls that's that because these high school yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of young ladies. Yeah, sure. Cheryl, tell them, tell them what you said about what you thought, what you found out about the the, the girls. Yeah, it, when I, I asked somebody that's part of superintendent for HISD, and I said, well, well, what is the rating? I said, is it more females or males that's more uh, aggressive when it comes to dating? And they said, it's the females. It's a yeah, and I was shocked. I already know. I was shocked. I said the females. Oh, they said, yeah, for you real. Just don't know. Oh, those boys sure. coming in crying. Like she oh, yeah. won't leave me alone. She won't leave me alone. She's beating me. She, up. She's flashing tires and everything. Yes. Oh yeah. The females. But this is middle school. Oh yeah. Look, oh, high yeah. school, middle school, 
middle school to, to high school, they when they get to, to, to freshman in high school and all of that, sophomore, mm -hmm. they getting their cars. Oh, okay. Some of them selling drugs. So, you know, and Wow. But you know, if they tell me it's elementary, I'm like, oh my god, we got we got issues. We got some. We got some Man, major I, issues. If shut the whole elementary. school down. When they say yeah. it's the elementary, shut the whole school down. We got to shut, shut the whole down. school. <laughs> we got. I had a you know, yeah. back in the day, I know they might say something, but back in the day, everybody lined up. Where's that belt? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. Get up. make yeah. make a line. <laughs> The bill or the pattern. Yeah. Look, and you had that kid, you had that kid say, I ain't going first. You go first. Uh -huh. <laughs> you go first. Too funny, man. Yeah, I had a girl, I had a girl in the seventh grade fight. You wanted to fight me all the time. Mm -mm. Well, was I was you. when I was in the seventh grade, I just I didn't have I didn't have no respect to person. I fought everybody. I just fought everybody. I was a little well, fight. Well, my mom me, was like, well, oh, but, but you know, for me, I didn't fight. I got beat up. So I'm the opposite. <laughs> like, I was I look, I got a twin. For me. I got a I got a twin sister. She didn't have oh, to fight. Okay. I, I had her back. I, I just was beating everybody up. I remember the <laughs> tether ball. I remember the tether ball court and everything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they don't even have tether ball no more. For real. That's now, right. tell about was dangerous though. You could, baby, that ball went around that pole. You better okay. get out of there. <laughs> okay, that ball was hard. Really. If you weren't ready, you got to get out the way. You got to get out of yeah. there. You got to have calluses on your hand to play that game. Because <laughs> you finna mess up. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And then but, also, no. um, we're working on ours, we're working on sequel two. Mm -hmm. There's a sequel to this movie that we're coming out with. Uh, it's going to be a part two to to the to this movie. So in order to understand the second part, um, people will have to see the first movie. But it won't be two and a half hours. I tell you that. Okay. It won't be that long. Well, <laughs> still watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm auditioning. When I get oh, my you want to audition? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm serious. Okay. Whoever I've been in a play. I've been in a play, but I've been in about, I've been in two plays, and uh, yeah, I think I'm ready. You think you're ready? <laughs> they speak. I'm serious. I'm okay. Serious. I believe. I believe. I believe. Every time, see, every time me and him get on here, everything I, I say, but I'm serious. I think you can do it. I believe. I believe. You can so when I come on you, you coming, right? I'm going. Look, okay. on two wheels. Okay. I'm, okay, two wheels. I've been don't waiting. bring a gun, but two wheels. Okay. Oh no, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not violent anymore. I got saved. <laughs> but I'm ex I'm excited. I'm excited because like you said, they have swept this under the rug. Everything is about COVID mm -hmm. now, so everything right. else it, is just going crazy. So right. It, right. we need to we need to push harder. We need to get together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a lot of women going through it. There's a lot of men going through it, and a lot mm -hmm. of men are not going to confess because they don't want to feel like they a punk because they right. wife beat them up, you know. Right. But I had a friend. Mm -hmm. I had a friend. He came to me. He said, Pastor. He said, My wife is beating me. He was a big old dude. He, mm -hmm. said he, woke, he said he woke up, his wife was sitting on his chest, punching him in the face. That's how he wow. woke up. Yes. And, uh, you know, prayed with him. And I told him, I said, she need counseling. He found out there's a couple things going on in her life, right. you know. Right. But sometimes right. when people get in a relationship, one person is dominant or one person is giving all the attention. Everything is about them and the other person is left over here. Right, right. And she right. had a, she had a, she she blacked out. She just went crazy. She, wow. You know, so there's a lot of people that need to hear about this. Right, you know, right. Be, you know. And, more, and what you just okay. said is something similar that's in the movie. Mm. Something similar to that. I'm not going to say much because I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, if I tell you, if I keep talking, I'm going to tell you, oh, we need to go see. Forget that $25. We saw it already. Uh -uh. She the whole movie. Uh -uh. I'm sending by $25. Uh -uh. So, yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really unique. And yeah. people that see 
uh, Jay Speaks gets so upset. There are people that's upset with him right now because uh, they said, well, sure, is he really like that? I said, mm -hmm. no, I said, no, you're not. <laughs> But see that I got upset because I know he ain't like that. I was like, look at this here. But you don't know the other side. I was like, I was like, playing that part too good. He playing that part too good. But that was that's what's good about it though. They, you know, he look because I was looking at that. I was like, is that Jack? I know you lying. I'm surprised you didn't call me. But hey, I was. You know, after you see somebody play a play a part, right. you know how it is with movies. Right, you see right. a person that you uh, after that you love, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden they play a part where they acting a fool. You's like, I'm through with him. <laughs> <laughs> when I see him, I'm going upside his head. He had no big. I'm like, you know, that's not that's a role, right? Right, right, right. But you know what? You ain't even so well. did. Huh? We did. That's right. We did an ep we did a podcast episode where we where we strictly focused on men, right? What? And, and we, we interviewed how many about had, six men? Yeah, we had six or seven men, but we had yeah. like over we had over like three thousand people that viewed it. Yeah, and they were like Very really powerful. impressed that the guys opened up the way they did. Mm -hmm. so we wow. Uh huh. Yeah, you can go back and uh, check out our Facebook page. It's on our Facebook page and okay. it's on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Right. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to link all that up. Because yeah. I, I think this is awesome. But, you know, I was just talking to my son the other night and I said I was thinking about doing an a, a improv show where mm -hmm. not, not, not co uh, comical, but more of telling storytelling, you know, okay. where, where, it's like it's acting without the without the right. stage and screen. Right. People are on there and, and, and we're going through a whole script, you know. Yeah. And um when I hear y'all I'm like, oh, this would be that would be a good mm -hmm. a good uh in, you know, improv to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh you know, look, we call it we call it past uh past the script. So right. it's like one person mm -hmm. start off oh, and then the next person grab it. And they go with it. Then the All next right. person grab it and go with it. Oh, you know, that's so, cool. Yeah. So. I like that. I like that. That'll be yeah. nice. That'll be yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah, let me know when you're going to do that one. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. And, and, but me and my son been do, have been doing it for years. So I was like, oh, this will be a bad little podcast. He was like, well, hook it up, mama. Hook it up. I was like, okay. <laughs> we'll there up. you go. But I have enjoyed you. Listen. I'm auditioning. Okay, just throwing it out there. Again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. Give us all the information. We need to know where to get tickets. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna send out the preview again. Mm -hmm. And uh, on my page, well, on all of my page, I got 150 of them. It's okay. Okay. We'll put up all of. Them. So give us the information on how we can uh, how they can get tickets. Um, basically, go on our um, on our page, our Facebook page, and on our Facebook page, you can see where you could um, go to um, the purchase your tickets. We're not doing any tickets at the door. I, I felt that that's a little, it's going to be a little bit too much um, at that time. It is going to be a red carpet event. Uh, we have the backdrops. We have the red carpet. Um, you'll stand in front of it. Uh, take your pictures. Uh, uh, the pre, it's going to be a pre-reception from 6 to 6.45, a pre-reception, you know, food, spread of food for everyone that's coming at 6, 6.45. And then uh, that time you could go and get your seat um, where uh, you can find a seat. I'm not, there's no assigned seats. First come, first serve, you know, that kind of thing to get you a good seat. And then um, from there, we have a special um thing that we're doing before the um, the movie and then after the movie then we will start you know after that then we will start the movie um i yeah that's basically it and it just it's going to be at the matchbox downtown matchbox houston and i believe the address is 3400 main street mm -hmm. and so that's where it'll be um and we're in studio um two studio two 
So I think they have like four to five studios. So we're in studio two. Okay, so for the people that love to just show up at the door, they just going to try and show up at the door. You know, oh, I ain't worried about it. I'll just show up. You won't get in. <laughs> Forget about it. In such a nice it's, way. It's, it's, it's going to be too much going on. It's going to be too much going on. So we won't have anyone to handle that. You know, the money part, we won't have anyone to handle that. And so, um, I mean, we probably will, but uh, realistically and be nice about it, get your ticket. Get your ticket. <laughs> and stop playing. Right. Stop because playing. we have to know how many people are going to be there because we're having the food catered and set up. So for that, we want to make sure we have enough food. To, and also we're doing popcorn and sodas and, and water for the movie. It's nice hot popcorn. We have a popcorn machine. You get all the popcorn you want. So we're going to feed you and, and give you some drinks, not alcohol. So I don't want y'all to think, oh, she's going to drink alcohol. No alcohol, please. No alcohol. You had me at, you had me at popcorn. Okay, popcorn. And, and, and butter. And, and butter. salt. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. And butter. And butter. Yeah. So this has been exciting for me. Jay Speaks. I promise I'm I promise after I see the whole movie, I'm not gonna treat you different. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the phone with him. I'm gonna say, what you say? I know no, you no, no, no. just flash back. I'm gonna just flash. I'm gonna like, be like, wait, 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 it's me, it's me. I'll be like, get her, she tripping, get her, she tripping. Yeah, she gonna flip, baby. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get her, she tripping, Jesus. Get a Jesus. You know they go sick Jesus on me. Get a Jesus. Man, I got I got everybody tripping on me right now seeing the trailer. They putting in the comments. Really, Jay speaks? Really? <laughs> I'm saying, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You talking about call you. When I saw that, I say, uh-uh. <laughs> I say I, I can't mm-mm. Look, I cringe looking at myself. <laughs> Really? But it's like it's a totally different look. Nobody mm -hmm. recognizes you, not for real, not for at real. all. Because, because I promise, I didn't see you. I saw somebody that I was like, look. When I watch, when I watch movies, right? And my husband say, I always find somebody to kill. I always sit there and say, oh, they need to go and take him out of there. That he need to go. He got to go. He, so you always try to kill somebody in the movie. <laughs> Jay Speaks, no offense. I'm talking about your character. I was sitting there talking about ah. Oh, yeah, Don got to go. <laughs> got to go. <laughs> I got to go, right? Don got to go. But you know what? Everybody, you know what? Every everybody, everybody, Nancy, Nancy White, uh, you know, Joseph Gwynn, uh, uh, Chavette Capers. Yeah, Chavette Capers. Deidre uh, uh, Brown. Who? Oh yeah, Deidre Brown. Brown. Yep, Deidre Brown. Uh, and, um, we have a judge, Emily. She she played yeah. the judge. Uh just all every every and every, Sean. Every, and Sean. She, yeah. Right. Uh Sean Fulton. Yes. So every everybody, man, everybody brought their head. Who's, who's the wife? Who's the wife? Charvette Capers. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, but see, this is the, the twist is that it's not it's it's um a man being abusive to the wife. And then there's oh the wife being abusive to the husband. Mm. Oh, and there's a part that you guys have to see what takes place with the wife being abusive to the husband. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, gotta see that. Gotta mm -hmm. see that. And then also there's a counseling session as well. Mm -hmm. That's really so we, we try to put everything in there, you know. In it. In it. Yeah. And no, then, and, and and then the ending part is interesting too. I can't tell you about the ending, but don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm not gonna tell you anymore. <laughs> but but I am. I'm, but hey, I'm not. Hey, if you need me, go ahead and put that all in my purse. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Hey, ready. why not, Brandy? Look, I, look, I'm gonna have my duffel bag. She gonna say, "All right, in the name of Jesus, I'm gonna pull out a fresh off." <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your church? What's the name of your church? Eagles United Ministry. 
We just started out in Texas City. We out in Texas City. Oh, in Texas City. Okay. Yeah. So we building out there right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Y'all know. Yeah. Hey, soon as I look, soon as I'm ready, I'm calling. Okay. I'm gonna be like, listen. <laughs> I, got bunch, I got a bunch of ladies coming. I need. Come on. I Come on. Okay. Powerful. And then, and then, in like in August, we go to um the end of August, we go to New Orleans, and we and there's ministry there um, mm -hmm. that we do for um women and men for people there. It's basically supposed to be a women's conference that I do every year. So I incorporated. I decided to incorporate it um the domestic abuse part as well. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah. much coming up. JT, you gotta keep me in the know. I also have, I have I have a hundred podcasts, so we got to get you on one of them. Okay. One or two of them. <laughs> I gotta look. Well, I turned into, I turned into, a, I turned into a uh into a network. You know, okay. the okay. thing a network. So right. I got so many different shows with different hosts. Right. So that's why I say you gotta get you on a couple of them. You know, that's right. Are you yeah. able to show the clip now? The video? Are you able to show that clip? Well, now? I didn't hook it up. I didn't oh, hook okay. up the share screen. So okay, okay. That's all right. It's gonna be going out there. Now, is it a way for me to get that for my YouTube channel as well? Yes. Uh-huh. You could okay. just um, we, um send her the link and then you could um do that. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, yes, that's gonna yes. be good. Okay, and then cause see, I'll take the audio from mm -hmm. it and put it on my podcast. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. working this thing out. Okay, and Come then on, October yeah. the fifteenth, we have our, our our domestic awareness walk. October the fifteenth. Okay, I'm gonna start walk. I'm gonna start walking now. <laughs> I. <t> <laughs> Oh, JC, I'm trying to be serious. You get on my nerves. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I have lost weight, so I'm practicing walking now. Because okay. when I get out there, I remember mm -hmm. catching a video with Jay Speaks. Oh, okay. Time. And okay. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta get out there. I gotta be out there. I need the t-shirt. <clears throat> I may come out there as Loretta with my little gray wig. If I come out there, okay. low red. Uh oh. Okay. Bring low red. Let y'all meet low red. She okay. out of control, but she all she'll be all right. Okay. Not low, not low but low red. It's low red. Low red Bo That's her name. Low red Bo Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want to y'all. Yeah, she an old school Christian lady with with style and grace. Yeah. Come, okay. come, come on here. Come on here, style and grace. Style and grace. Come okay, on. I want to see her. I want to. I want to meet her. Loretta is something else. See, Loretta got some stories. She on YouTube too. Y'all need to go check Loretta out on YouTube too. Okay. okay. She got a gospel medley that she sings, and it's. Uh -oh. okay. Can you yeah. sing? Oh yeah, I can sing. Okay, let me hear something. Ooh, I'm on the spot. <laughs> Let's go this I told you, Jay speaks. It was gonna happen, right? Come on here. Let's get let it. Me hear something. Okay. Let's see. I sing. Because I'm happy, I'm nervous, y'all. I sing because I am free. Yeah, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. <laughs> Amen. <That's good. laughs> Very when I'm not nervous, I sound a little better than that, but when I'm not nervous. No, 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 you're good. You're oh, she's good. a whole recording artist out here while she being modest. <laughs> oh, she's a recording artist. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I just preach at the church, Jay Speaks. Don't get me in <laughs> I, uh, so I want to look. I want to thank everybody for tuning in on YouTube. I'm watching people on YouTube. I'm watching. I'm watching Twitter. Thank y'all for y'all support. Those that are on Facebook. Man, thank y'all. Uh, look, love shouldn't hurt. Yeah. The movie. This ain't no play. The movie. 
<laughs> Y'all, it's coming up. Make sure you get your tickets. Play this back. Hopefully, Jay Speaks can go into the comments and drop some good information, a link or something. Absolutely. So that y'all get to get your tickets. Because when you show up at the place, talking about can I get a ticket? All wah, you can get, all you can get <laughs> is a popcorn <laughs> and directions home. You don't don't be playing with people like stop playing. You're not getting no free popcorn. Oh, they got to pay for that popcorn. They yeah, got to twenty five dollars through, through the door. I'm gonna be there like I'm gonna be there like paparazzi. My guy's so I'm gonna be there like paparazzi. I'm gonna say, oh, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't know. <laughs> no, nah, you can't come in here. <laughs> catch it, catch it. In yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, the bit again, yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, we got to get together. I hope that I get to meet, meet you in person. I have oh, really... Yeah. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I knew Jay Speaks was going to try to throw me off tonight, but it's all good. Uh, no. <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> Speakoutinc.org. Speakoutinc.org. We love y'all. Remember yeah. that without faith, it's impossible to please God, but with God, all things are possible. God all bless right. you. Thank y'all for you. having us. Uh, yes, hey, thank you. Come again. Come again. Absolutely. Love you all. Love Good, night. You. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.